Welcome back, Hell Divers. How you doing? Hope you're all doing well. You have made your way back to the HQ, where we spread democracy by killing one bug and bot at a time. And in this video, I've got a bunch of stuff to go over. I will be checking out what the status is on the war front, how we're doing with that most recent major order. Also, the CEO of Hell Divers 2 has responded about transmog and armor sets. And then Hell Divers have taken it to Discord to respond to the newest poll about the most recent war bond, the Democratic Detonation War Bond, and they give their honest feedback on that. And then someone has discovered just how many planets there really are in Helldivers 2. I think the number is going to surprise you all, and I'm going to be going over so much more in this video. So, Helldivers, let's jump into the video and start off with what's going on with the Warfront in Helldivers 2. Right now, the major order is to basically defend planets Minkent and Lasoth. And let's zoom in here and take a look at what's going on here. So far, we have liberated 77.9% of Minkant, with Lasoth falling behind at 29.4%. And we have two days and 16 hours, Helldivers, to complete this major order. So I have faith that we'll be able to pull it off. Hopefully, so we'll see what happens with that. And then also check out this funny clip that was posted by Halfskin on the Reddit. They said, if the bots don't kill you, something will. And then they get completely thrown up there by the supply drop that they dropped in. And this is, I guess, one way to go. I guess this is an honorable way to go. If you're going to go, this is one way to go. Now, check this out, Helldivers. This is an official poll run on the official Helldivers 2 Discord. And the poll asks, what do you think about the marksman rifles in Helldivers 2? And a whopping 79% of Helldivers said they need a rebalance because they're underpowered. And this is something that I said in yesterday's video as well. I told totally agree with this. I feel like the most recent marksman rifle, the Adjudicator, in particular, felt weak, especially since it's in the new War Bond. And I'm sure you all agree that newer weapons should definitely feel more powerful uh, because it gives you a reason to get the new War Bond, right? So hopefully they buff the new Adjudicator uh, marksman rifle. Uh, but for now, I've been using the other weapons, as you can see from the footage. Now let's take a look at the other poll. It says, how do you feel about the new Democratic Detonation War Bond? And again, a whopping 68% said it's good, but I feel like something is missing. And again, I think a lot of people feel like the weapons simply need to be buffed in this new war bond. And that buff should also include not only more damage output, output but also uh, better weapon handling as well. Because there's a lot of weapon sway with that adjudicator weapon. It just doesn't feel like it's as accurate as it should be, especially for a marksman rifle. Now, let's take a look at this right here. This was posted by the Pingu, and uh, it was reposted by the Helldivers Alert Twitter. They said, how Arrowhead could make armor more diverse to create different classes. And the Pingu put together this really cool concept of the different armor sets with more perks added to each armor set. And I think this idea is freaking awesome. I do think there needs to be a bit more variety per armor set. And I think this is an excellent idea. So we'll have to see if, you know, Arrowhead looks at this and adds a little bit more uniqueness to each armor set because I think this would be really cool to see. Now, a fan of the game responded to this and said, or have a transmog system that way people can run whatever they like cosmetically. And the CEO of Helldivers responded and said, we are not doing transmog. It doesn't make sense. Equipment looks different because it has different effects. Swapping one for the other is like having an apple that tastes like bacon or the other way around. And I could not agree with this more because imagine 
running around as a light armor guy and you've used transmog to make it look like heavy armor. This would not make sense at all. So I totally agree with this. I think each armor set really needs to reflect its abilities. And, you know, if you're wearing a heavy armor set, it should look heavy, it should look bulky. You shouldn't be able to swap its look for a light armor set. At least that's my opinion on it. What do you all make of this? Leave a comment down below. Now, this clip was posted by Helldivers 2 Media, and it was originally uh, shared by Panda Man T L O U Zero, who said, Don't you love getting insta killed by fire in heavy armor? And this is true right here. It seems like there's nothing that really competes with the fire in Helldivers 2. So I think the heavy armor or even medium armor needs a buff against this fire. And that goes back to the armor set concepts right here. It would be cool to see more fire resistance with particular armor set. You can see the one in the middle there has a fire retardant perk here in this concept where it says take 50% less damage from fire. So I think this would be cool addition to certain armor sets for sure to give them that extra strength against the fire because right now fire is way too OP when you're facing the automatons for sure. Now this was posted by Coca Lil Coley, hopefully I said that right. They said 262 planets, Mars not shown. That's a whole lot of democracy to spread. So they've actually created this whole map of the galaxy here with each individual planet. And there's actually 262 planets in the game. This is absolutely insane. And honestly, I didn't even know that there were this many planets in the game and hopefully we see more urban environments in the future and we see something like a super earth battle happen in the future where we're battling it out in urban city environments i know that's something that i discussed yesterday a lot of people want to see city environments uh, more unique environments in the game uh, we already have a lot of uniqueness with the different terrain in the game, the different weather effects, but I think city environments would add even more to the experience for sure. And this was posted by Lady Emily who said, Helldivers 2 is so funny because most live service games announce new content via a cool trailer or press release or something, but instead they just secretly put new enemy types into the game and freak people the F out when they discover it. And this was the response by not my name's Wasabi. They said, and then the CEO lies about it and calls it enemy propaganda when asked on Twitter. It's great. And I totally agree. I love the way Arrowhead and the CEO of Arrowhead does the marketing for this game they simply just surprise us hell divers with brand new stuff like when the mech came out for instance i remember everyone was going crazy because joel just dropped a random mech for somebody and that's how everybody discovered that mechs were coming into the game and they keep on doing this kind of clever viral marketing with this game that sets it apart from other games. It's almost like you're a part of the story as the community, as they continue to surprise us with these content drops. So I love the way Arrowhead does their stuff. And that's gonna do it for the video. Remember, Helldivers, get out there and capture both Minkit and Lasoth. We have a ways to go with Lasoth for sure. It's at 29%, and then again, it looks like Minkint is at 78% now, so just by talking in this video, we've already lost a percent of men kits. So get out there, Hell Divers. I will see you out there. And let me know in the comments what loadout is your favorite right now. I'm currently rocking the mech and the auto cannon, as you can see right here, and, and still experimenting with that new grenade as well, which seems kind of effective against the automaton. So we'll see how it goes with that. But I'm really enjoying the setup I'm rocking right now. So again, leave a comment down below. What is your loadout that you're rocking right now? And I'll see you on the planet's surface, Helldivers, as we continue to spread democracy across the galaxy.